Hi and welcome back to my channel. I thought I would vlog today. You might be able to hear the oven running behind me because I'm making some hash browns. I'm gonna have hash browns and an egg for breakfast. But I thought I would vlog today because I'm pretty excited. We're having our new sofa delivered today. So all of you will know that we've had our sofa for a long time. I think it's about 11 years old now. We bought it when we bought our first home, when Lachlan was one. And even then, because we just bought our first house, we didn't have a lot of money for furniture. So I think it was about $500, $600 to begin with. And yeah, when we moved into this house, we wanted a new couch, but again, we had just bought another house. We didn't really have the extra money for it. So my mum and I actually recovered the couch. And I think we did a pretty good job considering we didn't know anything about how to do that. Uh, but it was definitely time, about a year ago, I said to Mike that uh, that was one of the things I wanted to prioritize. So we set up a sinking fund for it, a separate sinking fund. We finally saved enough money to buy a couch. We don't have credit cards or anything like that. We don't want to have payments <laughs> for anything uh, at the moment other than our mortgage. So we couldn't buy a couch until we had the money. So I haven't bought the fanciest couch, but I think uh, it's going to be really good, especially for the boys, it's a bit bigger. Uh, there is gonna be a few problems. One is that our current couch is on wheels because we wheel our couch out when we watch our projector because we don't have a TV. So we're not gonna put wheels on this couch. Uh, you'll see why it would be harder and it's just a bigger couch and we don't wanna do that. So there is gonna be a little bit of, I don't know, trying it out in different spots, whether we can have it against the wall where I like to have my couch. I don't think we're going to be ha um, able to have it there, but anyway, <laughs> I'll show you all of that. So yeah, it's going to be an exciting day. So I am going to have my breakfast. The couch could be delivered any time between 9.30 and 11.30, and it's 9 o'clock now, so I'm going to have my breakfast. Then I'm going to vacuum out the old couch because they are taking the old couch away. It was perfect because we came in uh, within $1 of our budget. We had $1 left after we... Uh, paid cash for the couch and paid for the delivery and paid a fee for them to take our old one away because we just don't have any way to do that. Uh, so yeah, they're going to take our old couch. We came in <laughs> one dollar under budget, so that was great. Uh, but I'm going to clean this couch so that when they come and take the cushions off, there's not any crumbs or anything underneath it. And I'm going to vacuum the lounge and I'm also going to take the lamp and the table and everything downstairs just so there's room because it's a very small space and I want them to be able to bring the new couch in and take the old one out without having to maneuver around too many things. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now and I'm super excited to show you what it looks like. Of course, I've only seen it in the huge furniture store and while we did measure the space, I really have no idea what it's gonna be like in our very small living space, but I guess we'll find out together. So yeah, I'm gonna start off with breakfast and then start vacuuming and get the old couch ready to go. Okay, so to make as much room as possible, I've just moved our shoe basket here. I'm a little bit worried about them getting it through the door with the island here but I can move the island and depending on when we have the new couch I may have to move it slightly more towards the kitchen but hopefully they can get it through this gap <laughs> uh yeah cleared this wall I would really like to repaint this wall so maybe that'll be a job for this winter and I just put our old couch here so they can take it out and hopefully there'll be enough room to put the new one in this space so yeah now i'm just gonna wait for them to come and then i'll show you once it gets here okay so the couch has arrived <laughs> it's so big it looks a lot bigger than in the store but that's okay luna's having a smell around it right now uh, she's not gonna be allowed to scratch this one so that's something we're gonna have to work on because she's also currently on the island where she's not allowed to be so <laughs> see how that goes all of the cushions i'll just shut this drawer all of the cushions are here and it does have a chaise, chaise, chaise uh, here, which is where we're thinking we're going to put the projector. But now I need to figure out where I'm going to put the actual couch. Yeah. So let's just try and put it somewhere. Thank you. 
Okay, so it's huge. I like to think I have quite a good spatial awareness. Is that the right word? Like where I look at a piece of furniture and I bring it into my home, I think, where would it go? I like to think I'm actually pretty good at that, especially living in a small space for the last three years. This couch is huge. I also think that our old sofa, I, I don't know whether to call it a couch or a sofa. In New Zealand, we pretty much call them couches. I don't know if that other one was just really small. I love the color. The color is perfect. I even love the size. It's just shocking because it didn't look this big in the store. So I'll show you where I have it right now. I don't know what I'm going to do with our chair, but we love that chair. So it's going to go somewhere. The couch is huge. So let me show you what it looks like. So this is how it looks. Just ignore the mess. Look how small the island looks now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I like, can't stop nervous laughing. I sent Mike the meme of Ross in that episode of Friends where he gets that couch that's too big. And he's like, pivot, pivot. I sent Mike that meme because that's how it felt when they were bringing it in the door. So yeah, the cushion looks ridiculous. <laughs> The couch, I actually do love it. I think it needs to come over a little bit. I mean, it's blocking the door to the decking, but we don't use that a ton. And we've had our couch this way before, and it means that we can have the projector up on the wall, which in winter we use the projector a lot. It's big. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's the couch. Under here is one of the features we really liked is there's, it's kind of hard to show you, but there's storage here. It's got like a, a hard top and this is where we're thinking of putting the projector because it'll fit perfectly there'll be lots of room around it and it just keeps it safe the boys are old enough now that they don't jump on the couch so that was a big selling point that it had a little bit of storage Okay, so here it is against the wall. I definitely like it against the window better. It's gonna get the sun, as you can see the sun's pouring in here. But I mean, later on in the day, this bit gets bright sun, this wall, so there's no really escaping the sun. We're just gonna have to close the blinds down uh, on days that we're home and it's really sunny. So that just is what it is. It's a light color, so it shouldn't fade too much, but I definitely like it against the window better which is good because it means we don't have to buy a projector screen or anything i really don't want to you know when you buy one thing and then it's just like a avalanche of things that you need to buy to go around it i don't want to do that i'm definitely getting my workout today this is one of the things when mike comes home and he's like wait you put the legs on and moved all around by yourself that was such a stupid thing to do um, but yeah independent <laughs> gonna take all the cushions off again put it back against the window Okay, so I'll put it back against the window. I like it much better here. Luna is enjoying it in the sun. Uh, I've opened up the door because I was sweating after moving that around. So now I have the dilemma of the chair. I did try it just over here, uh, but I didn't like how it was right there when you walked in the door. So one solution I have is I can put it here-ish, but it'll need to go further back. So I can take everything off the island and wipe it down while I'm there and move it further into the kitchen. We have actually had it further in before, so that's not a huge issue. Okay, so I've got about 15 minutes before I need to leave and get the boys, but I think I've got it <laughs> in a way that I like. I don't know, you guys know that I change my house around a lot, so definitely don't think that this is going to be the way that it is forever, because who knows, but I'll show you what I did. So I did move the kitchen island over to the left. Uh, there's still plenty of room, just not as much as there was, uh, but that's fine. We've had it like this before and it's fine. 
And then the sofa, I pulled the blinds down because Luna's wrapped up in that blanket and she was cooking in the sun. Uh, so I put the chair here for now. I didn't really like it in this space. So I put it here. I kind of like it because if someone's sitting here, they can be facing the sofa or the windows or uh, it can turn and face into the kitchen. So I quite like that. I'm not sure. Uh, I put my little knitting side table here. I really like that. I think it looks so nice with the grey. I really love the colour. There's a little Lulu in there. She's loving the couch so far. So the only thing I don't love about the couch being here is uh, the blank wall. So if you're sitting on the couch and the projector's not on, the projector's on the ground there, but it's going to go in here once Luna hops off. I just couldn't, I didn't want to move her to put it in. So we have this blank wall. I might make like a quilted wall hanging or something. I don't know, because usually that's where you'd have your TV, right? And then your TV would always be there. <laughs> but uh, we don't have a TV and we didn't want a TV, but now I see why <laughs> you'd have it set up like that. So I feel like Mike is also not going to love that. So yeah, that's how everything's looking so far. Honestly, the only other place I could put the couch is with the back uh, next to the island. We've had, had our other couch there as well. Uh, and then it can still look out the windows and you can kind of sit sideways to watch the projector. But to be honest, my back's too sore uh, to try it out that way. But maybe, oh, I mean, let's be honest, I'm sure at some stage I'll try it like that. But for now, this is the way it is. So I might make something for that wall. I don't know, I'll see what Mike thinks when he gets home. The boys are gonna love it no matter where it is, so that's fine. But I might uh, see what Mike thinks and see if he thinks it's good against the window. But now I'm gonna go and get the boys and then I'm gonna come home and make dinner. We're having tacos tonight, but I decided for a change for Mike and I that I would make us chicken tacos and we'll have a side salad and the boys will have ground beef because then I can put uh, courgette, I need to put courgette, uh, carrot, onion and garlic along with this uh, taco mix, like taco seasoning. So they get some vegetables as well. So that's what we're going to do for dinner. But yeah, the whole day is kind of disappeared now, but I do love it. I do love it. I'm really glad that we picked this one and that we went for the L shape with the shades, I think. Especially Lachlan, he loves to sit up here and read and he's going to love that spot. In fact, the boys are probably going to fight over that spot. So, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to go and get the boys, come home and make dinner, see what Mike thinks. I might update you tomorrow. Maybe I'll finish this vlog tomorrow so I can tell you what the boys thought and what Mike thought. And if I've moved it around again overnight, which, let's be honest, could definitely happen. But I'm going to rest for a little bit. I might even sit on my new couch. Uh, for a few minutes before I go and get the boys. <laughs> okay, so it's the next day, so I thought I would give you a little sofa update. So the kids came home uh, after school yesterday and they love the sofa. Mike came home and he loves it. He loves the color, he loves the shape. He agrees with me that it definitely looks bigger in our house, but that makes sense. But he did not like it against the window. He hated it against the window because he likes to sit on the couch and drink his coffee in the morning or like lie down on the couch in the afternoon. And he didn't like that it was staring at a blank wall, which I totally understand and I did feel that a little bit. I moved it up against the wall where we had our old sofa. I told him that I had already looked at that and I didn't like it, but I wanted him to see what it looked like. He liked it better there, but uh, I hated it. So he had to compromise. So I'm going to show you our compromise. Um, I really love it. I sat there and did some knitting last night. It was so nice to stretch out. Luna stretched out next to me. Lachlan got up and read his book there this morning. So we all really love it, but let me show you how it looks. So the first thing we did was we moved the island over even a little bit more than it was. So now it's kind of almost lined up with that window, which I actually quite like. And there's still plenty of room in the kitchen. It's quite a dark day because it's raining outside, but still plenty of room in the kitchen. And then this is how we've set up 
the couch. I just have the blinds closed because there were some people doing some work out there this morning. But this is where we have the sofa. We have had our old one here before and we liked it. We have the chair here which really works. And it means that you can still sit on the couch and watch the projector. You just kind of have to be on your side. It wouldn't be that much of a mission to just uh, pivot it around so you're facing the sofa as well. A lot easier to move than if it was against this wall. Uh, so, yeah. The other problem I encountered is that Luna wants to scratch this couch. <laughs> which makes sense because we really just let her go for it on our old one because we didn't care, which was a silly mistake. But last night I went out and bought two throw blankets. I do have this one on the chair, but we really uh, like it there and I do use it. So what I did was I just went and got two really inexpensive throw blankets that I can use as spare ones for our bed or I don't know, this cheek one's actually really soft, so I'll probably keep it forever. But this is the main arm that Luna's scratching. So we just have this on it for now until she gets out of that habit. And then the larger grey one, I just drape over the other arm, just in case. But I only do that when we're not here. So yeah, my knitted uh, blanket's going to look really good. But that is at least a year away. So <laughs> we can't rely on that right now. And we still have this little ottoman. Because Luna sleeps on this. But if she changes, she already has slept on this blanket a couple of times. So if that becomes one of her new favourite sleeping spots... We may get rid of this ottoman, but we're going to keep it for now because we don't want to get rid of something she really loves. I put the lamp there. One of the other problems, I'm just going to sit down here. <laughs> One of the other problems we had was that I couldn't have my little table, the little round table uh, that my mum gave us that she wasn't using because there's just no space. I could move the couch over to the left, but then it gives you a very narrow gap to walk past. So that's a bit of a bummer, but obviously having a larger, more comfortable couch is better than the table. So I just have a couple of my knitting projects here. I still have the lamp that we had and the little tray I've been using downstairs to set my hot drink on at night. So I'll probably bring it up here and I can sit it on the couch uh, when I want to use it. And then the other little light that I recently bought that I really love. I've just put here for now. I don't think this is where it's going to stay, but it is quite handy on our little tea and coffee station here because at night or in the morning or even today on kind of a gloomy day, it's quite nice there. So yeah, I'm not sure about that, but I just got this lamp and I really like it. The table is just sitting here. So I'm going to ask my mum if she wants that back, or if she wants me to donate it. Because I just don't really see where it could go. So yeah, that's how it's looking. So you're sitting on a wheat bix box, so it's a bit wonky. But that's how it's looking. I really do love the couch. I think we made the right choice with the style and the size. It's just going to take a little bit of getting used to. But yeah, I definitely love it. When I walked up this morning, I was like, wow, <laughs> where did we get this huge couch from? Uh, but I do really love it. So now I'm going to go and sit and do some knitting and have my coffee. But I hope you enjoyed this strange little vlog about a girl and her sofa. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.